Hi guys, this is Fenchy and today I'm going to tell you how to handle any log possible. So a lot of you ask me how to handle specific log and I think it's good to have first a video on how to handle uh, logs in general and after make some videos that are just specific to each log. So why I'm doing this logic for this video is only because when I receive some footage for my work to grade, I only need the name to map the right gamma curve for it. So that being said, I'm going to uh, show you different log footages and how to recognize them like when, for example, the production house doesn't give you the name of it. So before this, like and comment. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, just do so. Like the community is great and uh, give me a lot of suggestions of new video in the comments. And yeah, I leave you with the tutorial, guys. So here we are guys in our timeline, um, before we start I'm going to put you in the description a cheat sheet where uh, I'm going to uh, just describe uh, which input color space and which uh, input gamma you should put uh, in your color space transform for each log. Here we have uh, four clips that are from different cameras. So before we start anything, actually, my recommendation when you work with a production house would be actually to ask them first uh, on which camera did they shoot the commercial on. Just because it avoids you the hassle to uh, look for the log curve. If, for example, the production house doesn't know at all uh, the camera, then we have a few solutions. So first, the solution is actually to watch at the codec inside uh, DaVinci Resolve. I can see that like each clip have a codec. If for example, uh, you have uh, these kind of titles, you can just double click and double click again and your codec will appear. Here I have uh, four different codecs. I have a H.264, I have a RE RAW, I have a Blackmagic RAW and I have a H.265. Uh, seeing these four footages, there's like already two uh, of these footage that pop up to me, uh, which is the RE and the Blackmagic RAW. So what is nice with this codec is because uh, these cameras are doing a raw codec, then I know for sure what is the, the camera as like uh, we have it in the name. So for example, I'm just going to pull out my color space transform. Okay, for your info, I am in Rec. 709 scene timeline color space to output color space Rec. 709 gamma 2.4. So I'm just going to drop my uh, input, which is Ari. So this one I know that it was a Ari Alexa. You don't need the white gamut 4 or the log C4 if it's actually like Ari's that are not Ari uh, S35. So um, my output color space is going to be uh, Rec. 79 and uh, Gamma 2.4. So then I have a footage that is uh, mapped, you know, to the right Gamma curve. Okay, here we do the same. We just drop our color space transform and uh, we're just going to go like from black magic. So this one, black magic has so many menus. Uh, so this one, like I know from the production house, it was a pocket 6K. But if you don't know, then like you will have like to go through a different um, combination. But I would say like most of the time now it's uh, a Gen 4, Gen 5. Um, black magic design and after uh, you put uh, your uh, black magic design film gen 5 so here is mapping my thing uh, and I go to uh, rec 79 gamma 2.4 and yeah here my uh, log is already mapped okay so um, with this what is nice is like after of course we can start our grade around so what about actually these two footages? These two footages like don't have a row that can indicate us what is the log curve that it's um, using. So the only solution is actually a kind of, a, a, I would call that a rookie solution, which is like the guessing game. <laughs> so 
guessing game actually would be to drop a color space transform and trying to see where is the gamma curve and seeing like how the gamma curve is reacting. For example, if I take this footage and I'm like, maybe it's a red, then I just like put my red, my log thick G10, and already I'm seeing that like uh, this weird behavior going on, okay? Gamma 2.4. So you see what's happening? Everything is clipping. Before we had like a contained graph, but after we have like everything clipping, which is not a normal behavior. What I can do is actually keeping my Rec709 uh, in output color space and my uh, output gamma and gamma 2.4 and changing this, like saying like, okay, if it's not a red, maybe actually most of the time I receive Sony footages. So maybe it's a Sony footage. Let's see. And now, the gamma curve is actually behaving in a uh, normal way. So for example, if I disable my uh, color space transform, you can see my scopes that are normal and contain. And when I enable my uh, node, my scopes are well behaved actually. It's just like the same form, but a bit extended because there's a bit more contrast, there's a bit more color boost. So this one, like we just saw that actually it's a Sony. So now we go to our next footage and just drop the color space transform. Okay, go here and be like, okay, let's try, I don't know, the Canon Cinema Gamut. And we go to uh, C log, Canon log, and we go to Rec 709 and Gamma 2.4. If you see in my graph, of course, you know, like my highlights are contained, but the thing is, I don't have any contrast going on, almost. All my um, shadows are lifted. So that means that actually it's not the right curve. So I'm just gonna change and be like, okay, I haven't tried uh, the Panasonic Vigamut and the Panasonic vlog which is here <laughs> and obviously like when you put it in it feels right it feels good because we have the uh, logarithmic curve that we had so uh, the data is contained and now the data is mapped to the right gamma curve. Guys this is the end of the video this uh, walkthrough slash intro uh, to logs for the next video, we're going to uh, see how to grade uh, each logs and uh, what are their characteristics. So I'm quite excited to do this. Actually, it's quite fun. Um, I see you next week. See you guys.